Hello and welcome to the Half-Ass Homestead. My name is Angie and today we are making one of my favorite pickled recipes. Pickled chicken gizzards. If you guys are interested in learning how, tag along and let's jump right into the tutorial. First step is removing all of the fat from the gizzard. I recommend a nice sharp fillet knife. That's what I find works the best for me. Once our gizzards are clean, we are going to cut them open and we're basically going to butterfly them. So we're going to peel out all of the rocks and food within. There's going to be a small hole through one of the sides of meat on the gizzard and that is the inlet to the gizzard and you're going to want to take special care to clean that out really well like I am doing here. Once our gizzards are clean, now the fun part, we get to rip off that thick membrane on the inside and we are going to dispose of that as well. And now you are left with a nice chunk of gizzard meat ready to be tenderized. Before you pickle the gizzards, you're going to want to cook them until they're tender. So there's three ways in which you can do that. You can use the boiling water method, which is boiling them in water for three to four hours. You can use a manual pressure canner, or pressure canner, cooker, pressure cooker. And you're gonna wanna cook for um, about 45 minutes in a pressure cooker. Or you can use the Instapot for a 25 to 30 minute cycle on normal pressure. So today we are using the Instapot. While these are cooking, I'm going to show you guys how to make the pickling solution. Per quart of gizzards, which is about 20, we are going to take two cups of white distilled vinegar, one clove of garlic, two tablespoons of sugar, a teaspoon of pickling spice, and one slice of onion. I like a little extra, so I add a little extra. We are going to let the solution come to a boil and we are going to let it boil for five minutes to let the flavors thoroughly marry. Once cooking is complete, we are going to place our gizzards into a canning jar straight out of the Instapot while they're hot. Then we're going to add the hot pickling solution, bring down to room temperature, throw in the refrigerator and they will be delicious in one to two weeks. If you guys decide to give this recipe a shot, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.